there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler here on YouTube, and my page today is Father's Day themed since it's Father's Day, putting a gift for an Almighty Father or your own Father in your Bible. You could do a testament to, to your own Father, but I'm doing one for my Almighty Father. And I'm going to draw a really simple tie, which is basically an elongated kind of triangle, rectangle thing with a point on the end. And then I'm going to put it in a box. You could put all kinds of things in a box, whatever your standard Father's Day gift would be. Just draw a box around it and put the thing inside it. I'm going to make my tie as though it has a knot on top, even though I know you don't wrap ties with a knot already tied in them. But I'm going to just do that because I can. So there you go. And I'm going over it in pen, which was not really necessary. I wasn't sure what medium I was going to color it with. I decided on pencil, colored pencil, and I didn't actually need to do this in pen. But I basically chose two areas for the tissue paper to cut into. You can see on the right hand side around the middle of the tie and then a little lower on the left. There's a couple places where tissue paper kind of comes over top of the tie a little bit. So I'll show you how I did that when I when it gets a little bit closer and you can see it better. I erased my pencil lines and then started in on coloring. The idea behind this actually came from the outside edges of this Bible. It's from a previous video where I had done different techniques on the outside edges of the pages. And this Bible has a starry night sky on it. And when I was going to do this page in here, because this page was taken in my regular Bible that you see most of the time here on YouTube, I thought, wait a minute, I could do a starry sky kind of tissue paper in here. So I just started coloring in all different kinds of blues and purples. And as I layered colors over top of each other, different areas got darker and more dense, that sort of thing. You can use any colors you want to do something like this. The last step I did was to add the shadows. And shadows on something like this will be anywhere where there's a gap between the tissue paper and the outside of the box. And I didn't make that even. I made it come and go different ways, different places. Sometimes the tissue paper hangs out of the box. And that made it look a little bit more like tissue paper. And then other times it kind of curls right over top of the, the gift itself inside there. So it looks like the tie is nestled inside. And there's no real science to where the shadows go, except I would put the shadows around the object itself, whatever the object inside is, and then a little bit around the outside. And you can see I'm just kind of scribbling the color in here to get some shadows going and filling it in with black. And you could also use a really dark color if you had a, a lighter paper that you're using, the tissue paper. You wouldn't have to use something like black, but on something this dark and rich kind of needed to be. And then I took a brown pencil to go around the outside edges of the box itself. You could make this any kind of color. I was thinking a gold box would be kind of cool. And then I decided I would, before I address the rest of the starry stuff on the tissue paper, I would go ahead and get the pencil work done on the tie because I didn't want to accidentally touch any of the wet pen because gel pens stay wet for a little while and I didn't want to make any messes. So got all the pencil work done first. Now on the tie, putting the shadows around the left and right side and then around that middle area where the knot is. And I also created a little crease in there so you can get fancy or you can just make it really simple and make those shadows all the way down the right and left side of the tie. And I was debating what design to put on my tie because I was thinking about doing something with stripes and, you know, a script along it. Uh, you could write on the tie itself. You could, you know, write the gift that you want to give to God on Father's Day. If there's some commitment you want to make to honor him and, and to change something in your life, this would be a great place to document that. Or you could write on it all the things you're grateful for from your Almighty Father. And, you know, whatever kind of thing you want to do. And I'll, I'll show you the choice that I made for mine. But I started putting stars on with a white pen. And then I grabbed 
a gold pen and also added some of those. If you have different kinds of pencils and pens and things, you might have other things you want to use to make this into Starry Night paper. But it wasn't really looking much like Starry Night. It was just looking like polka dots. So I made little stars. And as I said, when the, the pen is wet, it remains kind of wet and you can mush it. So I took advantage of that. I, I made a little cross and then just used my finger to mush out the color on different sides and make little, you know, kind of stars that burst a little bit. And some of them were little tiny X's, but a lot of them were a little more starry looking. So that made me happier. What I chose to write all over the tie was just Almighty Father over and over again. And in order to make it a pattern so it felt like it was continuing, sometimes I started with the the ID father, and then other times I started with the father and then let it, you know, finish off the other edge of the tie so that it looks like this pattern is wrapping all the way around the whole tie across the whole thing. But you can do all different kinds of fun things with a tie like this. So that's my page that now matches the outside of my Bible with all its starry sky. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you'd like to join my Facebook group and share your version of this and whatever you'd put in a Father's Day box, I'd love to see what you're creating. So links in the doobly-doo for that. I will see you all again next week. Take care.